time I do a favorites video, I feel like I'm always in my head thinking, oh, I've got such good stuff, and then I wanna say that, and then I'm thinking, you say that every time. But it's the truth, that's why it's a favorites video, is because these are things that I am loving lately. And these are things that are either bringing me some kind of extra joy right now, or making my life easier in some way. It's just, it's the good stuff. It's the stuff that I like. I'm also gonna combine this video, so it's gonna be favorites, and we're gonna do a little fall haul. So I'm gonna share a few of my favorite fallish tops that I've gotten recently and things like that. So I'm gonna do the favorites first and then we will do the fall haul. Got, I've got my little basket here. Now this may seem, some of this may seem random, but I promise you it's really not random. Uh, let's start with, let's start with like the home stuff, then we'll do beauty related stuff and then we'll do the fall haul. Y'all know my love for a good insulated cup and this has fast become my favorite. So I got the ones that were from Target and I still like those. I've got one right over here right now because this little, this little gem just came out of the dishwasher. But these are from Amazon. It does have a straw. I did not collect the straw when I brought the cup out here. I'm sorry, I forgot. I don't normally film my favorites videos and videos like this out here in the cabin and homeschool room, but everybody's inside, it's very loud, and I did not want to make them all be quiet so I could film. Um, anyways, I just can't say enough good things about this insulated cup. I love that it's got this handle, which is handy because it does hold so much liquid. Um, it's nice to have the handle there. They've made the bottom part small enough, um, the right size, so that it still fits in my cup holders in my car. So this has just become my go-to. I love the color. They have some really beautiful colors, so of course I'll link everything down below, but I'm obsessed with this thing. I love it so much. I I always have a giant cup like this one or this one every single day and I refill these things at least probably four times a day. I just chug water and last year we're gonna hold on let's get let's get to this real quickly. So starting I think it was last year sometime I was listening to a podcast and somebody did an ad for liquid IV and it sounded very enticing because I am somebody who struggles to drink enough water. I love coffee, I drink a ton of coffee, um, and then I'm dehydrated and I can feel it because I get like leg cramps and stuff like that and I know I'm dehydrated. Um, so hydration has always been a bit of a struggle for me and I thought, let me try this. This video is sponsored by Liquid IV. I have to just tell you that I nearly fell out when I saw that I had an email um, with a possible sponsorship from Liquid IV because I have been using and loving this product for at least a year now. Guys, okay, so this is a hydration multiplier. It's an electrolyte mix. So you put one of the packets into your water, one stick, they call it a stick, but one stick, one of the packets into your water, and it becomes the equivalent of drinking three water bottles. That's the hydration that you get from it. They have a good variety of flavors. The strawberry flavor is my favorite. I like them all, I'm not gonna lie, I like them all. There's not one that I don't like, but if I have my choice, I always go for the strawberry. It's my personal favorite. I mean, that's what I have in my drink right now is water mixed with a liquid IV packet. It's quenching, it's got a good flavor. It may sound like I'm exaggerating right now, but I promise you I'm not. Ask anyone who knows me how obsessed I am with these things. I love them so much. And it's not just hydration that you're gonna get in here. They actually have more vitamin C than an orange. It's got a bunch of vitamin B3, B5, B6, B12. And the various vitamin Bs can help your body defend itself against different infections. So I just cannot say enough good things about these liquid IV packets. You can go to their website and I do have a discount code for you guys. I'll put it here on the screen and down below in the description box. And that code will get you 25% off their entire site. I promise, I promise you will not be disappointed. You will love it as much as I do. If you're ever on the struggle bus to drink enough water and you feel like you just can't stay hydrated, give them a try. I promise you will love them. Okay, next home thing. Well, I guess technically it's not a home thing, it's a car thing, but it is this handheld Bissell vacuum that you keep in your vehicular, okay? So it looks a little ominous. If you have children leaving crumbs and all kinds of things, I feel like this is like a mommy must have, okay? This is what it looks like when you package it all up and then the charger for it is a USB charger. So you can just charge it in your car. You don't need to 
take it to and fro in and out of the house. Just charge it in your car, but it's very simple to use. You just take this little thingy off right here, the little stand, you just pull it off, um, hit the button. Clean out your car. It's, I'm gonna turn that off because it's loud. It's got three levels there. Um, and then you can, of course, attach this, whoop, hit the button, sorry. You can, of course, attach this little guy to the top right here, and it moves up and down um, so that you can get into the, well, if you need the little brushy aspect, or like this, and you can get into the tight spots in between your seats where stuff falls. You know what I'm saying? Listen, mom cars, we our cars can get real nasty real fast. But you just charge it, it's so easy. I just, I feel like this is, this is the thing, you know? Sometimes I keep turning it off fits by the way depending on your car of course but it fits in like the car door spot um, so or if you are super organized and have like a little bin in your car for things then you could put it there but this is this is a must-have for moms I think and I rarely tell you guys that it things are must-haves I will always tell you like look I like this you don't need it I think a lot I think a lot of people might actually need this I like it and while I was in my vehicle getting that, I noticed this and I thought, well, let me just share about this too. Um, at some point, maybe I will do like a car, like, I don't know, not a car tour, but like what I keep in my mommy mobile, you know, like the mom things that I keep in the car that make life easier. But this is something that you do need, okay? This is, this is something that you need and it's at a price point that I feel very comfortable insisting that you need this in your car, okay? It glows in the dark. Uh, so that you can see it in the dark and then you just snap it off of the little holder thingy here this end of the tool works to break glass so I'm not going to go through the anxiety producing scenarios in which you might need this but it breaks glass and this side cuts seat belts so I have always kept a seat belt cutter a small little I kept a small little one that was kind of like on my keychain or whatever but I added this one because it's a dual tool it glows in the dark um, I, I, I want to say it's like six bucks or something like that I'll link it down below but breaking glass cutting seat belts in case of emergency these things are uh, the having something like this gives me a little bit of peace of mind when my anxiety starts running wild with all the possible scenarios that can happen in the car with my children and emergencies that I could be in that I wouldn't know how to handle or what to do. Um, so I just like having things like this that give me just a ever so slight peace of mind um, that I can react well in certain situations. So car tool, that was also in there. Let's get into a few of the beauty things. Now, I don't remember if it was my most recent favorites or the one before that, but I shared with you guys about Beauty Pie. This website I had found that I kind of said was like the Costco of beauty products. I've continued to order from them and I've like now gotten to the point where I've used up and started to reorder things. I just, I can't really understand how they're able to price their products at what they are, but they work. I feel like my skin has never been better, never. And I'm just, I'm just obsessed with all of their products. So it's not just skincare. They have, um, I talked about my last video, they have candles that smell absolutely divine but I've also used a ton of the skincare and that's really what drew me in um, so I shared with you guys some of the things I was using a couple videos ago but I just thought I would point out a couple other things that I've been trying this is a moisture mask um, it's a bioceramide moisture mask love this uh, you don't have to wash it off I don't I leave it on overnight but I just put on a very thick layer and it's like an overnight um, hydration mask and then this is a anti-aging cream. I told you guys about the plantastic one that's green. Well, that's always so gross when like a random hair appears. Um, but it's a very thick cream, their body cream. I didn't wanna like bring all of this stuff out here and get all up in your business with it. But just know that so far, none of the skincare stuff I have purchased from them, I've been disappointed with. These high intensity hydration drops, as you get older, ladies, if you are much younger, your skin often gets drier and the drier your skin is the more noticeable your wrinkles are so hydration is important and I just I've always had dry skin even when I was in my younger years um, but 
these hydration drops. I just, I have like such a solid skincare routine now that I'm using these things. And then I have, of course, my fun extra stuff, my LED lights and masks and other things, my facial steamer, the stuff that I like to use when I'm having like a pamper night, which I have not had in a long time. Um, but these are my go-tos every day. I love everything. One of the other things I tried this last time that I just literally had to stop myself from immediately making a video to tell you guys about are their cream eyeshadow sticks. Okay, I have loved like the Laura Mercier cream eyeshadow sticks forever. It's pretty much all I have in my makeup drawer now is some cream eyeshadow sticks and then I have a little section of the pots of cream eyeshadow, a couple of the Charlotte Tilbury ones that I really love. But these are amazing. So I ordered three, even though I didn't need them. I ordered them because the price point on these is out of this world. And I wanted to see if these would stand up against the Laura Mercier ones that are, I don't remember, but I think maybe like $24 per eyeshadow stick. These, if I remember correctly, are like four, five or $6, somewhere in that range. Insane. And yes, they do. They work so well. They are beautiful. Uh, the lighting is probably not great out here for me to swatch these for you, but they are creamy, they are glidey. The packaging is very durable. It does not feel cheap in any way. The other thing, guys, okay, if you've been watching me for a really long time, then you remember me talking about the Charlotte Tilbury magic wand things or whatever. They had these contour and highlight um, products. So basically the exact same thing and they cost like less than a quarter of what the Charlotte Tilbury ones cost. It's that little, um, wrong side, here we go. It's that little like poofy thing. These can be, the, the Charlotte Tilbury ones are kind of messy, I've said that before, but they're really beautiful on your skin. So I dealt with the messiness of it. These are no different, okay? They are a little bit messy, but this is the luminizing wand and you just take this a cream product and I can just put it on like a beauty blender and then just bloop, 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 blot it there, okay? And then you just have to remember to twist it back on. This is the contour one. Look at that. Look at that nice, like cool shade, cool brown shade, perfect for contour. It's, it's unbelievable, honestly. I just don't know how they get away with pricing these things, but I had to tell you guys because these are products I use every day and have paid a lot more money for the Laura Mercier or Charlotte Tilbury version, and these Beauty Pie ones are incredible and such a good price. Okay, speaking of good priced things, this is, I've been getting a bunch of messages from y'all lately asking me what foundation am I wearing in stories and stuff like that. It's one of two, but most of the time um, it is this one. It is the True Skin by Catrice Hydrating Foundation. Um, I have two colors in this and I'm so glad that I do because I watched Tati do a video and talk about this. It is a full coverage foundation and I don't usually go for full coverage, but based on her review, I thought, let me try it. And I think they were 10 or $11 a piece. So I got two shades um, and which was a good decision because the shade I thought was going to be too dark was definitely my summer tan shade and it worked well. Um, it's too dark for me now, so I have a lighter one and I will mix um, just depending on, you know, where my skin is at and it's suntan versus paley ghost territory, you know? Um, this stuff is amazing. I love it. It does not dry out my skin. I normally cannot wear full coverage foundations. I have no problem wearing this one. The problem is, is that last time I looked, it sold out everywhere. Tati made that video about it, and then it just sold out like everywhere. So hopefully by now it's back in stock because it's very affordable um, and a great foundation that I really love. What is not on the uh, drugstore super affordable end, but I just have to tell you guys about because I've, again, gotten asked a lot of questions about how I've been wearing my eyeshadow and stuff lately. And I believe it was during the Nordstrom anniversary sale that I picked up this dual ended Charlotte Tilbury um, eyeliner, copper charge metallic. It's a, a liner duo is what they're called. Um, so one side is the copper charge metallic and the other side is this very deep, uh, well, it says copper charge matte, but I don't know what the color is, but it's a very deep kind of plummy purpley brown. I don't know a better way to describe that color. It's not brown, it's not purple, it's in between. And it, I, this is but I, well, what I wear like every single day. Um, I use some variation of this or an Urban Decay 
more of a brown shade um, and put this on and smudge it out and this is like what I do every single day and I'll change up what's on my eyes with cream eyeshadow sticks or uh, some of the Charlotte Tilbury little pot eyeshadows but this thing I love it so much I'm actually thinking about ordering another one so I have it on backup I don't think it's a limited edition product but if it is I will cry now we're gonna do a little bit of a fall haul okay fall clothes um, I'm, I'm basic, I'm always pretty basic with my clothes. I just wanna be comfortable, especially right now with kids going back to school and you know doing school for half the day, work for half the day. Um, I wanna be comfortable. It's all, that's just always how I determine fashion things that I like is I would like it to be cute but comfortable. That's sort of what I'm going for. So anyways, so a couple weeks ago, I did um, a big clothing haul for the kids for fall. And then I got an email with like an insane coupon in it that I wanna say it was like 35% off of anything on the website anyways. And then I had Old Navy bucks or cash or super cash or whatever they call it. Um, so I knew that, okay, I'm gonna be able to get some good deals. So I did grab a few things for myself and I found this flannel. I love a good flannel. Now here's my trick for you guys. Okay. If you are over five, six, I'm five, eight. If you're over five, six, sometimes they'll make oh, these flies are driving me crazy. Sometimes they'll do uh, tunic length tops which sometimes are too long. I don't know, I'm weird about stuff like that. But if there's a flannel that I really like and it doesn't look like it's long enough to cover my booty because I want to be able to wear it with leggings. Um, so I don't always, but I wanna be able to. So I like to get ones that are longer. So that's the great thing about Old Navy is they have tall. So I just order tops like this in tall and it usually makes them long enough. So um, see? It's just long enough. It covers all the bits in the front and all the bits in the back, which is all I'm looking for is just to not have, like I don't want it to feel like I'm wearing a dress. Like I don't want it to feel like I'm wearing a flannel dress. I just don't want either of the bits, all of the bits, either of all, all of the bits. I don't want any of the bits to show. Okay, I want all the bits covered. I have not worn this one yet. It looked slightly different on the website, so I think I'm still humming and hawing a little bit, but I do think I like this one, so I do think I will keep it. Um, but yeah, so I got a medium tall. I wanted it to be kind of oversized and comfy and long. So I did the same thing in this color. And then this shirt, I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it, and I'm not sure if you can see it up close, but it's like a quilted, um, so it's, uh, like a medium weight, it's not super thick or heavy, it's not super light, but it's got like a quilted material. And I just have kind of a strange obsession right now, or really for the last two years, but I just don't think I realized it until now, with zip front, not full zip, quarter zip, hoodies, sweatshirts. I think I figured out that that's my favorite. I like it when it zips. I don't, maybe it's just because I don't like it to be like, choking me like crew neck and full zip is nice but it's I don't know it doesn't quite have the polished feeling of this is my top as this does this is a crop sweatshirt um, I got this in a small it's a crop sweatshirt so I wear this with my super high-rise mom jeans and that's a, a cute look you know to put it with your high-rise high-rise mom jeans um, and more of a cropped sweatshirt. So this is the like heathered gray color and they had a few other ones, maybe like navy, pink, that sort of thing, but I really like this. It's very comfortable. I also, which apparently I've worn this and the tags are still on it, but that's okay. Um, this shirt is just a nice like striped. This is a kind of like a pinkish mauve color. It's really pretty and this is just one of Old Navy's like classic super soft feeling. Um, tops they have it in two or three other colors I got a medium because again I kind of wanted it to be a little like oversized and slouchy and cozy feeling and this is the other top that I picked up and I I don't know I think I just was really drawn to this cornflower blue color it's uh I don't know that I would say it's cropped but it's definitely a shorter top it's not like a long top that's going to cover anything um, so I wear this again with like more high-waisted jeans, but I just thought it was a nice shirt that I could wear um, anytime because it's comfortable. But something like this I would wear or I would wear this to church on Sunday, you know, so options. I like options. The last thing I got from Old Navy, which you may absolutely hate, so brace yourself because a lot of people are not going to like these, but if you like them, 
You will like them because I do. <laughs> okay. They're like Birkenstock type um, sandals, but they're fuzzy. And when you live in the South and fall is a bit of a saucy little minx and she comes and she goes and she shows up and she leaves and one day it's cold and the next day it's hot. It's kind of nice to feel like, okay, I've got like my fuzzy fall shoes on, but I'm not sweating either, you know? So yes, it looks like I skinned a Muppet and made a shoe out of it, but they're really comfortable and I really like them and they're almost kind of slippery-esque, if you will. I have worn these a shameful amount since I got them. I'm putting them back on my feet right now. All right, and these couple things aren't from Old Navy, but y'all have asked about them in recent videos, so I just thought I would mention. Um, Airy is my other kind of go-to place for cozy, comfy things. Um, they always have good coupons and discounts and stuff like that. Same thing with Old Navy, like never pay full price at any of these stores, ever, ever, ever. There's always good coupons, discounts. Uh, but this is a, just like a waffle knit top from Airy. I got a small and I will say it's, it, you probably are going to want, to me anyways, it's, this is too close. You know what I'm saying? Close only counts in horse grenades, but this is too close. It doesn't cover the butt enough for me. So if I was going to wear this with leggings, I would need to get a medium in this. I don't think Airy makes talls or longs, but I would need to get a medium if I was going to attempt to wear it with leggings, but I'm cool with just wearing it with jeans because that's how much I love it and how comfortable it is. Um, so this top from Aerie I have adored. I got this top from Madewell. Um, it's just a striped tee that's dirty because I've worn it about 65 times, but I just, I've never seen like a hunter green, dark green striped tee. They're usually black or navy. I really liked the green and I thought that looks like nothing I own and I could think of a bunch of cute ways to wear it. Uh, and one of my favorite ways to wear it right now is with this bad boy, which is like a corduroy shacket. Is that what people are calling them? Shacket? A shirt jacket? That's what this is. It's a corduroy shacket. If there's another name for it, I apologize. Um, but this may be my new favorite thing that I own. I love the color. Looks real cute with this underneath it. I wear this, again, a shameful amount, honestly, like too much. It's nowhere near cold enough for me to need something like this right now, but I wear it all the time anyways because I love it so much. Again, with things like Madewell and all of these sites, wait for coupons. Don't pay full price for this stuff. The last thing, which I almost forgot because it fell on the ground, you, you heard me say how much I love the quarter zips. This is a quarter zip sweatshirt from Aerie. They just make the best loungewear, the best loungewear. Um, I liked this color, this very like neutral, uh, kind of like a clay or stone tan color, and it's got the quarter zip, so you know I'm gonna like it. It's a basic thing, but again, this is the kind of stuff that I reach for and wear every day. Um, I like having cute tops for spicing things up sometimes. Uh, everyday wear, chasing kids around, homeschool, working outside, doing or you know just doing stuff outside, animal care, all of that, sitting in here editing videos and stuff. I just naturally go for what is most comfortable. So I think that's it for this favorite slash fall haul video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I feel like this year has just flown by. I cannot believe we are facing down October um, any day now. <laughs> it's insane, but uh, I'm excited. You know, birthday's coming up, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all good stuff. And honestly, I'm ready for another year. I'm fingers crossed 2022 is gonna be a lot better than 2020 and 2021. Can I get an amen? All right. You guys have a good day and I'll see you again very soon.